Hey guys, so first up I'm going in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer and just applying that all over her face with a stippling brush. Then I'm just spraying her face with a bit of MAC Fix Plus just to prep the skin. I actually lost the footage of me putting foundation on, not that I'm doing it now, but I just wanted to let you guys know, so annoying. But first I did brows and I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette and using the shade Soft Brown to really lightly fill in her brows because she has amazing natural brows and I didn't want to overdo them. So I'm just filling them in and then going in with some Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to define them a little bit more. By the way, the lighting kind of changes when I do the foundation and the concealer, just letting you guys know, but after I um, finish them, the lighting goes back to normal. So I just wanted to apologize for that. So I'm just putting on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Sand, putting that all over her face, and then taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium and using that to conceal her under eye area. Then I go ahead to place it on her forehead, down the bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow and chin, and of course, blending it all out as well. Then taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just using that to bake her under eye area just to ensure that the concealer doesn't crease. And then setting the rest of her face with the NARS pressed powder in the shade Beach. I love this powder for yellow like skin tones because she was quite yellow. So yeah, I'm just placing that all over with a large powder brush. Then just setting her eyelids in place in preparation for eyeshadow just to ensure it goes on seamlessly. So the first eyeshadow I picked up was Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. It's been very loved and I'm just using a Rebon crease brush and just buffing that into her crease. Then taking Cherry Cola, also by Makeup Geek, I'm pretty sure that's the name, if it's not, I'll leave it listed down below, on my MAC 217 and just mainly focusing that on the outer corners of the eyes. I love this MAC 217 brush. It basically does all the blending for you, so I would definitely recommend this brush. It's a bit pricey, but definitely worth it. So yeah, I'm just really working that really deep purpley color in the outer corners. Then taking Whimsical Foiled Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, one of my favorites. It's like a pinky champagne color and just placing that on the inner corners of the eyes. Woo! 
Then taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, waterproof cream color in Jet, which is just black, and just using that to line her eyelids. Then just coating her top and bottom lashes with some mascara. I'm pretty sure I just used the Benefit Roller Lash. I love it. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say just then. Then for lashes, I'm just using my favorites from Model Rock. It's in the style 212. I pretty much use them on all of my clients. Um, and then I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line with the same colors we use on the top. So using creme brulee first and then going in with cherry cola. I just really worked the cherry cola color in the lower lash line and then just using that brush to smoke it out. Then I'm just taking the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer and just using that to bronze up her face. And then I go ahead and use Hula by Benefit to contour. Just using that on a Spectrum Cosmetics angled brush. She didn't really need much. I didn't want to make it too over the top just because her eyes were so dramatic. So I wanted to keep the contour and all that to a minimum. <laughs> Then just taking some more of the Laura Mercier translucent powder on the beauty blender and just using that to define underneath the contour. Then taking the Too Faced Sweethearts blush, it's a peachy one, it's amazing. And then taking the Urban Decay, I think, was it Illuminated? It's so glittery. This is like one of the first times I used it. I did really like it, but then I did go over the top with Mac Soft and Gentle later because I felt like it needed to be like placed down because it just looked like glitter just on the top of her cheekbones. Anyways, for lip liner, I use the Gerard Cosmetics Share Lip Liner. It's one of my favorites. If you watch my videos, you know I literally use these on like everyone. Um, and then for lipstick, I used also a favorite, which is Faux by MAC. This look was actually inspired by my bridesmaids when I went to New Zealand. Heaps of you guys requested the look. So this is the look and the lipstick that I used on them. And then I just decided to add a little bit of Myth by MAC in the center just to create that pouty sort of look. And then I topped it off with a clear gloss. And that is the final look done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.